Five Minute Fiddle, this is my fiddle, and I'm Ben. So today I'm going to be looking at a few songs in E flat as we head into the wonderful world of flats. Um, last time was B flat, now we're doing E flat, and there's some amazing tunes in E flat, so let's have a look. So to begin with, I'm going to look at one of my faves, a bit of Fats Waller, Ain't Misbehaving. <laughs> So I do really like this song, Ain't Misbehaving. It's nice in E flat as well. It's one of the first few jazz songs that I actually learned. Um, and I do like a bit of Fat Swallow anyway. I like it's quite early jazz. It's one of those songs which I use as a real swinging song. You know, it's not really fast, it's not really slow. It's kind of that happy medium. So it's got that really quite nice, interesting middle actually. So it begins and it's it's mainly an E flat. It's that kind of nice swinging E flat style. Then in the middle, it, you you head to the C minor, and it's quite interesting. You go from C minor, then you got A flat, F, and then to C, but instead of going where you think it's going to go, which would be F normally, C to F, you go from the C, you go to the B flat. So it is quite interesting to look at. So you've got the C minor, A flat, F, back to the C, but then to the B flat. resolving back to the E flat. For the violin players out there, I think a little tip from myself would be really try and utilize the third position. Do shift around because I think it makes life easier. You know, I think I mentioned this before, you're not crossing and changing too often, but also um, it means you can get right up to the, to the nice top E flat as well, which is quite nice uh, to, to utilize that. So Ain't Misbehaving, really nice swinging song in E flat. Moving on, looking at a ballad, a bit of Hoagy Carmichael. Skylark is a bit of a favourite and it's a beautiful, beautiful ballad. Really interesting as well when it comes to the, the, that middle section. It's all kind of dotting around, really interesting to play over. For Skylark, I like to start in that kind of mid register. Not too low, not too high, but I like to build up to that nice, pretty high section for the end, for the, for the end of the tune. So this is where I start for Skylar when I'm playing the tune. Then I would play in that kind of register for the whole tune until the very last head section when I would come out of the chorus and then I get to play it quite high. And I think just splitting the tune between those two registers, ending with that nice pretty high stuff, um, it just gives it a bit more variety and it's uh, it highlights that real ending to the to the tune I think. Really, really nice and pretty. The choruses were definitely worth looking at. So you've gone from improvising over the E flat heads and now you hit the middle bit and then you're going into A flat. The end of that chorus, that middle section goes to G. So I think sometimes it can be quite tempting to go from these the harder flat keys where you're improvising maybe a little bit more delicately. You go to the G, it's a bit more flowing, your fingers can get around it a bit easier and then it's quite tempting I find this to kind of rush around the G and thinking about it I think it's quite nice to keep that G as delicate as you can in more similar delicate terms to the A flat section and the E flat section so it doesn't sound kind of totally different you know so if I was going to improvise from the middle using that idea of not rushing over the G this is something like I would do I'll do a little bit of the tune to lead into it So yeah, it's a beautiful slow ballad, Skylark um, in E flat. It's also really nice to end, you know, really nice and high, like a bird almost, you know. And 
And finally, looking at a bit of Gershwin, a bit of George Gershwin, The Man I Love. And this is a real nice song. It's People do it many different ways. Some people Latin, some people slow as a ballad. Um, I like to do it fast. So these chords are really worth looking at. They are a little bit different. You know, you start on the E flat, then you go straight to the E flat minor. To the B flat minor. To the C. A flat minor. To the B flat. Resolve into the E flat again. A little tip more for violin players now, but I find that if you can go from the E flat in the first position, I like to do the same thing starting on the first finger with the E flat, because then you've got the same movement as you've got in the first position. Yeah, it's not very feasible starting on that second finger. You know, you're kind of swapping and changing. So if you just start on that first finger, it's perfect, it's freedom. So there's three examples of songs that I like to play in E flat. I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful in some way. We'll see you next time for some more five minute fiddle.